Hello all my dear young aspirants. So today I am going to discuss with you all NCERT chapter 4 of 6th standard. Like those who are following my videos for the last time, last 3 sessions, they come to know that already we have covered 3 chapters of our NCERT of standard 6th. Here comes the 4th chapter for you all. Hope you all are doing good revising those sessions. Okay, without wasting any time, let's move on to that fourth chapter. Here we go. The fourth chapter says about, it's all about what books and burials tell us. Okay, so inside that you need to concentrate only on two aspects. Which are the books, which are the oldest ones and then the burial sites, most probably the megalithic sites. Okay, now talking about the books, which do you think is the oldest books till date? Yes, you are right. There you go. The oldest books are known as Rigveda. Understood? Rigveda is one of the oldest books of the world. Hope you got that concept. Then, uh, Rigveda is the oldest. Like that generally we can tell Vedas are one of the oldest books. Like that we can tell. And Rigveda is also oldest. Generally we can tell Vedas. And how many Vedas are there? Vedas are of four types. Which are they? Rigveda. Ejurveda, Atharva Veda and Sama Veda. Then, let's look into detail what Rigveda is all about. Rigveda, as we have already discussed, it is the oldest Veda. It was formed about 3500 years ago. Then, it includes more than 1000 hymns. Hymns known as Sukta or it is otherwise known as Well Set. Okay, then. Three important gods were worshipped during that time. Which were they? One, one, first one is Agni. Sorry, first one is Agni. That means god of fire. Then you have Indra, a warrior god. And then Soma, a plant from which a special drink was prepared. So god, are, god uh, which all things they worshipped? That is, uh, they worshipped Indra. And then Agni they worshipped. Then about Soma also we are mentioning. That is regarding which one? The particular Rigveda. Then, during that time, most of the hymns were composed by men, but few were composed by women also. Okay. Then, one term you have to learn that is regarding eknyas. What is eknyas? Eknyas are nothing but sacrifices in which offerings are made into fire. In certain uh, older epic serials, now like your Mahabharata and Ramayana and all those things, you might have seen they, them doing eknyas, rituals and all. That is a thing. So, once again, we will move on from which one, the first concept. Today, first we discussed about the oldest books, one of the oldest books of the world, that is Veda. And Vedas, I told, they are four in number. Rigveda, Ejurveda, Atharva Veda, and Yosama Veda. Rigveda is one of the oldest. And talking about Rigveda, it was formed about 3,500 years ago. Okay, then it includes more than 1,000 hymns called Sukta. Then God, God we mentioned. Agni, god of fire, then warrior god that is Indra, then Soma, a plant from which a special ring is prepared. Okay. Then, most of the hymns were composed by men, but few were composed by women also. Then, Eknyas are the sacrifices in which offerings are made into the fire. Done, na? Till that much, you all might have understood. The concepts are crystal clear. Then, then you need to focus on some of the words used to describe people in Rigveda. Okay, the words. Mostly priests are used, priests or Brahmins who performed various rituals. Then Rajas, Rajas means their specialty was that there were no capital cities, palaces or armies, nor did they collect any taxes. Okay, so these are something, some points regarding Rajas. Then comes the next word known as Jena or Vish. Jena means in that word itself it is significant to describe people or community as a whole. Jena or Vish, V-A-S-H. Okay, then uh, people who composed hymns, we told now composing of hymns, the people who composed hymns were known as Aryas and their opponents now they were known as Dasas or Dasyus. These Dasas or Dasyus were later known to be as slaves. Hope you got the point. And Dasas, they do no sacrifices but they spoke different different languages. Then Rigveda was composed in the northwest of the subcontinent. Okay. Rigveda was composed in the northwest of the subcontinent. That location you need to remember. So, which were some of the words which were used during those time? Brahmins or priests who used to perform the various rituals. Rajas means they did not collect any taxes. 
they had no capital cities palaces or armies then comes jana or vish jana or vish means the people or community as a whole was known in that form then the people who composed hymns are known as aryas and their opponents are known as dasas or this use this use peculiarity was what they have composed no uh, i mean they had they sorry they perform no sacrifices but they perform and spoke different languages then later they were known as slaves then rigveda is composed in the north west of the subcontinent okay so that book part is done in that chapter the book part i mentioned now that is totally done you need not have to worry about any sort of things related to that the next one is regarding the burial sites in that we, we have to focus on megalithic burial sites what are this megaliths they are the big stones big stones are known as megaliths okay so megalith building was done around 3000 years ago that date you need to remember then to make burial burial sites only megaliths are used now next we have to study what are the features of megalithic burial sites isn't it the features are tools and weapons of iron were found skeleton of horses then uh, horse equipment then ornaments of stone and gold then dead buried with the distinctive pots called black and red were pots p o t s black and red were these were found then uh, example two sites you have to remember brahmagiri megalithic site and inam gaon inam gaon site in little bit was they have mentioned in your ncert that is inam gaon means it was a settlement which happened between 3600 and 2700 years ago talking about inam gaon it's a site on river goth a tributary of the uh, tributary of the bima river sorry tributary of the bima river then in that site seeds of wheat barley rice pallet pulses sorry in that site seeds of wheat barley rice pulses millets peas and sesame were found then when we talk about plants are found obviously animals is going to come now then the turn of animals like bones of number of animals bearing cut marks were found that means that if the bones had cut marks means it's crystal clear that the, uh, these animals are consumed as food during those time okay which were those animals we prepared a list is there like cattle buffalo goat sheep dog horse ass pig sambar sambar is an animal not the other one which he used to eat with idli and all okay then spotted deer black buck antelope hare mongoose birds crocodile turtle crab and fish okay then plants we told animals we told then fruits fruits such as ber amla jamun and a variety of berries were found understood in those sites so these things you need to remember then uh, apart from all these thing one more point is mentioned regarding oracle bone what are oracle bone writings on animal bones are known as oracle bones it is found in china that writing was first found in china and that oracle bones is used to predict future it is said so okay so about the megalithic sites inam gaon and brahmagiri are the two megalithic sites megalithic burial sites what were the features what are megaliths they are the big stones megalithic building uh, occurred around 3000 years ago then to make burial sites megaliths were used megalithic burials features one by one you have to tell tools and weapons of iron were found then horse equipment skeletons of horses ornaments of stone and gold then dead were buried with the distinctive pots called black and red were then i told about inam gaon inam gaon means uh, it is found as a settlement in one of the river goth it is a tributary of river bima then there you found so, so many seeds like seeds of wheat barley rice pulses millets peas and sesame animal bones were found with cut marks which indicates that animals were used as food which were those animals cattle buffalo goat sheep dog horse ass pig sambar spotted deer hare crocodile turtle mongoose black bug then crab fish etc fruits such as ber then amla jamun and a variety of berries were also collected from that site apart from that i told you some other point one important point not connected to that separately i told one thing regarding oracle bones what are oracle bones they are writings on the animal bones used to predict future and this such type of writings on animal bone was first found in china these things you need to remember okay so these are some of the important things which i jotted down and studied as a part of which one my preparation so hope you guys got the concept regarding chapter if you are having any difficulty do ping me in this channel and then 
uh, keep on hearing uh, you can either pause listen once again all these things now so keep on utilizing it and maximum try to share this and uh, i found that most of you have not uh, press the bell icon only if you press the bell icon then and there you will get the notification of the upcoming chapters also so until i meet you with the next video you guys stay safe take care bye bye